Good morning, felting friends. Isn't that sign so cool? My husband made that for me uh, for my birthday. So um, just absolutely love it. Can't wait to get it in my studio. Um, here on the dolls, I have been just firmly felting those bodies. So taking some time and getting them, you know, pretty firm so that when you add on your clothes, um, it's it's not going to squish. So they should be pretty firm to the touch and not easily roughed up. Doesn't have to be perfect uh, because they are going to get covered. And then here I'm just showing you the sand color. I just grabbed whatever I had. It. I don't think I had the pale peach ready available. So the sand is pretty close and just covering up. Uh, you're going to see the neckline. So just go ahead and put a thin layer all the way around um, of the sand or pale peach or whatever skin color you're using and uh, just add that thin layer all the way around and then I'll show you how to make those little tendons in the neck um, just for a little bit of realism there and do try to pull the head up just a little bit um, so that you can have a nice join between the neck and the, the bottom of the head so uh, you don't want to have somebody pull the neck up and then you can see the core wall. So just try to fill that in pretty well there. And I'm sorry, she still has a bag on her head. It looks just awful. Um, just didn't want her to get roughed up. So just go ahead and take a little toothpick. Sorry, I'm in the bottom of the screen there. And wind it around so that you get a little tube. Pull it off. And then there is your little tendon. So you're gonna make two of those and just put them on the front of the neck. And then you can put a thin layer um, of the skin color over and uh, to cover up the seams and just kind of melt everything together. And then uh, it will look great. And then just take your time, use that fine needle, uh, the 42, and just get everything nice and compressed. Take your time with it. And you will be so happy that you did um, just getting that smooth finish with the 42. Um, so that's really what I've been doing, just firming up the bodies and um, getting that neck area prepared. We're gonna, I'm going to start doing clothes really soon. I'm working on the legs. I'm going to show you in this video how to um, get them completed and attached. So... If you watched the last video, we had the clay feet. Um, I also decided I've been making a lot of changes in my in my brain, thinking about how I want to move forward um, in the next couple steps. And if you don't like using the clay, I am going to wait inside the shoes. Um, I found a product called Poly Pellets, and it's made by the same company that does the polyfill. Uh, for stuffing and so I'm going to be purchasing that on Amazon and I'll send you the link. So I'm going to order it and I'm going to try it out and see how I like it and that way if you don't like using the clay um, you can just put like a piece of cardboard um, for the sole of the shoe and then we'll we'll use the weight with the poly pellets because I don't feel like the clay is going to be quite as heavy as I um, wanted it to be. So I think we're going to need the poly pellets or you can use, um, gravel, like, you know, clean, cleaned stones. So yeah, so I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. Maybe you don't understand what I'm talking about, but you will. So here, there's your foot and your leg from the last video. Um, and then you're going to take your core wall and we're just wrapping it around the leg and that's what that's the clay that I'm talking about there. So you will understand. So just finish uh, wrapping. You want to just get a general thickness um, around and around, needle felting as you go, just to keep everything nice and compressed. So that is a strong needle there that I'm working with, and I have my foam pad. I'm just wrapping the core wool around the wire. I went over the length of the wires, 
and the clay foot and the fabric covering for the sole of the shoe in the last video. If you'd like to take a look at that, um, we will be weighting down the foot, like I said, with the poly pellets. If you don't want to use the clay, you can use um, some cereal boxes. It's like a thicker cardboard and then using the poly pellets. So here I am measuring against my PDF that is the original PDF that's uh, for sale on Etsy. I'm a little bit disappointed that mine ended up so large, so I am working on um, possibly a crochet pattern and a fabric pattern um, that would keep things the correct size for everyone. So just adjust it. Uh, again, mine went about an inch um, an inch too large overall for the whole doll. So just adjust yours down, um, or maybe yours also got big, so that's fine. It doesn't really matter. You can always adjust things. Um, like I said, I'm going to be working on a crochet leg, also a fabric pattern leg, and then um, a crochet body, I believe I'm going to do, and then a fabric body. So that if the needle felting um, is not for you, there's so many options. So I think one doll will be um, the fabric, one will be the crochet, and then we'll have one that is the needle felting, just so you can see uh, the videos on how all of them are done. So I can post the pattern for the crochet. However, it will be for this larger size. So if you have the original PDF, you can use a thinner yarn or um, go down a hook size. Um, but I will talk about how to adjust your patterns and how to create the pattern. So maybe just by watching the video, you'll learn you know, how to, how to do it yourself. And it's really not difficult. I mean, you're just going around in a circle and then for the calf and the knee, you're doing a couple increases. So if you're familiar with crochet, uh, it is not difficult. So here we are just, um, getting everything tacked down. So I hope I'm not confusing you with all of the changes that I'm talking about. Um, really the, process of making the dolls is to make your decisions and do what's working for you. So if your size gets large, it's good to know how to adjust for that. Um, if your head is too big, then you have to adjust the body. So it's good to have a basic PDF picture, uh, which is what I have for sale on Etsy uh, at Lightfoot Felts, and that gives you the general guidelines for the proportions of the body, and then you can adjust. So that's why I have my picture out right there. Here I am putting on a little bit of thickness in the leg. So you're just wrapping around and then make a little pillow for the calf. So I have my picture out so I can see for the placement of where the calf would go. So um, just kind of go up a little bit, leave an ankle and do your calf. And then just put that little pillow on, tack it down using the firm needle there. So yeah, it's good to have the PDF for um, the basic guidelines, and then you can make changes. So if you don't like the clay, if you don't want to use clay, maybe you don't have it, you haven't purchased it, then just use a cereal box. Um, and that way you can keep things under budget for your doll making. And then you can attach the wire to the cereal box um, with some string. You can tie it on or you could glue it. I don't really like using a lot of glue, um, but you, you're not going to see it. So you're going to have everything covered. So yeah, you could just wind some string around the wire and the um, wire, the, the string around the cereal box sole of the foot and some wire. Or you could use some hot glue would probably be the best kind of glue uh, would be fast drying and would hold it on really nicely. Um, you could use florist tape that would hold it on as well. So just some ideas there for you. And I really was using the epoxy sculpt for the, the weight to keep the doll standing. Um, but that's why I talked about using stones 
or the poly pellets. So here I've made a little pillow for the knee and the calf and then just wind a little bit more core wool around uh, a thin layer just to have your nice seams and then really just firm that leg up. You want it nice and firm. I'm using the um, strong needle pretty much the whole time. Really nice firm leg. Um, no air. So just get that all um, tacked down. So the only thing that I would not recommend weighting your foot down, and the way that we're going to do it is by creating a shoe and then filling the shoe with whatever weight material. I would not recommend using um, rice or beans or any edible products because it's going to attract bugs. Even though they're dry, um, I just would not because the wool is so enticing to bugs already that I think if you put in rice or beans or anything that smells nice, you're going to attract bugs. Um, and then I'm not sure how with moisture and humidity um, those things react. So I would use gravel if you don't like uh, if you don't like using plastic, you can use the gravel. Just give it a good wash and um, just so that you have it purchased ahead of time if you are following along with me. All right, so here we go. Uh, still tacking everything down. You can see um, I did this in kind of a little bit of real time so that you could see how firm that I'm getting everything compressed. It looks a little bit strange. I was kind of not trusting the process here because it looks so weird but when I got them um next to the doll it really they really did look good so just I know that the angle looks weird um but your leg kind of does that you know the the calf goes out and the knee goes out and then you have a a thicker thigh so um you can do thinner legs if you want um just kind of match them up to the size of the doll that you're creating so if you want to have thinner, that's fine. The wire should hold fairly well. So um, yeah, just give it a give it a go. And then, like I said, in the future videos for the other two sisters, I will have a crocheted leg and a fabric pattern leg. Um, I will post those. Uh, they might be on Etsy for like a dollar or something, but they will be unfortunately for the size that I'm working with now. So if you're going off of the um, PDF, which is an inch smaller, you, you'll have to adjust them. So I'll tell you how to adjust them down, um, or you can just wait for a future doll where I will make a smaller um, crochet pattern and fabric pattern for you. So, But I'm going to show you how I make that, the patterns so that you might not even need to purchase it. You can just learn from the video, and then you'll know how to make your own, which really ultimately is the best. So. so we're almost done here with the leg. Um, I didn't love needle felting the legs. Just, I mean, it's, it's good. It's fun. I just like to have variety of the products that I'm using. So that's kind of why I decided to do some fabric ones. Um, so I think that'll be fun to teach you guys that as well. So here, finally, I'm putting it up against the doll. You can see where the string joining is going to be happening and how it fits together. And you want to make sure that um, when you rotate the leg forward that um, it doesn't go like past the bottom of the doll so that, she, you know, when she sits down, it'll be nice. Um, and she's going to have undergarments on, so if it doesn't fit necessarily the best, you're not, you're not really going to see it. So don't stress too much about that part. So just thicken up that leg, and then you want it really nice and firm because you are going to be string joining in that area, and you don't want it all loose and fluffy, and it's, it has to hold. So... I hope this is all making sense. Please do uh, like and subscribe my videos and so that you can follow along and continue learning and doing this journey with me um, with the Sanderson sisters. It's been such a crazy summer. 
we are remodeling our floors. So it's just our my house is kind of torn up <laughs> with remodeling. So it's been a little crazy. So yeah, just go ahead and do two legs just like that. You can see when you rotate it around, she's going to have nice, nice big hips there. And she'll be wearing the clothes and it'll all make sense. Glue everywhere. <laughs> I I hate using so much glue. Um, I'm really going to try to get away from that. So here's our leg. It's looking nice and firm. Can you believe that all that crazy wool compressed down to these nice two legs? I kind of angled them a little bit at the top. You can see they, they make like a little bit of a C. And just so that they hug the hip a little bit and don't stick out quite so much. So she's all nice and firmed up, ready to go. She's looking good. Those are going to get um, pulled in with the string, so they're going to hug her even tighter. So I did use Eileen's Tacky Glue. I was not super sold on using the glue. Here I have two colors of yarn. I decided to do Winifred's legs in some yarn striped stockings. And that is what I'm going to show you how to do now. Um, I'm not sure if I love the glue because you ended up being able to see it a little bit. Um, it did come through a little bit crusty. So I only have one leg done and I'm not sure if I'm going to continue to use it or not. If I do, it's going to be a very small amount. So take your two, piece, your two um, different colors of yarn and you're just going to tie it around the ankle and you can leave the tails because when we put the shoe on, uh, you're not going to see that part anyways. Sorry, I'm a little low on the camera. I'm going to move up here in just a second. But yeah, you're just tying um, a good knot on the bottom there of the ankle. And like I said, you're not going to see those. So there's your little knot. And just um, You can leave the string attached to the skein of yarn. That's fine. And then just a thin line of the Eileen's uh, tacky glue up. I did both sides of the leg. I think on the next one, I'm going to do just one side of the leg. Just because it did leak through a little bit. Um, I am going to be color adding some paint to the legs to kind of like make them look dirty and, um, you know, aged, worn a little bit. So I think that'll help to cover up some of the crusty bits of the glue but if you don't want to use the glue you can just needle felt like wrap around tightly and kind of every so often do a little needle felting because it'll stick the yarn into the wool leg so that's kind of the benefit of having the needle felted leg so you could try that if you are afraid of having like the crusty bits it's not too bad but um so here you're just going to start wrapping around, keeping nice and even. I did find it was easiest to hold the, after a while, I found it was easiest to hold the shoe. Um, the glue was just all over my fingers. So just hold the shoe and then wrap the two layers of yarn, keeping them nice and even as you go. I know I'm off camera. This was really fiddly with the glue. Um... So, and then every so often, just kind of scrunch the um, the bits of yarn. You can see there at the bottom, I'm scrunching them down just so you can't see that core wool leg. So you're just going to go, keep going around and around. Take your time.
So you can see here, I'm just needle felting a few of the pieces in to make sure that they are where I want them. And some of the glue uh, did seep out where you can see where maybe I used too much. So if you don't want to use the glue, have a go with just the needle felting. I think I might try that on the next one or just use a really small amount. So uh, for the top there, just go ahead and um, put some glue on or needle felt. Darn, I keep going off camera. This was just so fiddly with the yarn and the glue. So I'm sorry about that. But really, I'm just going around filling in the uh, rest of the leg. And I'll show you what it looks like here in just a second on camera. The glue was just all over my hands. Making a huge mess. I feel like I've just been a mess lately with our remodel and my crazy videos I think are showing that I, I'm just a mess. So here I'm all finished. Everything's tucked in nicely. Just needle felting a few things. I can't wait to get my studio cleaned up and back to where it belongs in the house. Right now I'm kind of in a makeshift area. as we are remodeling our floors. So just tacking everything down. Summer's gonna be over soon. I hope you're enjoying the whew, last couple hot days. It is, it is so hot. So fall will be nice. I'm looking forward to the fall. The uh, all the Halloween stuff be coming out soon. I, I'm, I'm jumping the gun here a little bit with the Halloween stuff. So here I'm just taking my doll needle and threading those last two uh, tails there down through the leg. And just tuck them out uh, underneath and you won't see them at all. So just pull that through. And just go ahead and snip that off and it'll be secure inside you won't see it and there you have it so both tails in thank you so much for watching um, my video is <laughs> a little crazy so please subscribe and stay tuned to see what I am up to next thanks I hope your dolls coming along well Bye.